everyone welcome back to our channel i'm pallavi sergal and in today's video we're going to discuss a little bit about the pastry and the capri merger now to give you a little bit of background upon that is this is an 8.5 billion dollar merger between te pastry and capri holdings and it is facing significant hurdle as the ftc is intervening to block the deal the intervention mainly highlights the concerns of a reduced competition in the accessible luxury market where products like handbags are both affordable and at a high quality the ftc is arguing that merging brands like uh, coach and kate spade from tapestry and michael kors from capri is going to lead to higher prices and less innovation and it's going to adversely affect the consumers the case is particularly noteworthy as it as it aligns with ftc Le uh, chair lena khan stands on the antitrust matters and the outcome is going to set a precedent for how similar mergers are going to be evaluated in future and potentially this is going to shape the competitive landscape in the fashion industry and beyond with this overview and background let's do a deep dive into this issue let's start with what are the tapestry and the capri brands tapestry has brands like coach kate spade and stuart weisman capri has brands like versace jimmy choo and michael kors the main problem is that tapestry has affordable luxury brands like coach and kate spade and capri has the affordable luxury brands like michael kors the ftc has taken legal steps to block this ambitious 8.5 billion dollar merger and uh, we have to highlight that this merger could actually aim to reshape the us luxury market the merger planned to bring under one umbrella powerhouse brands like we mentioned both from uh, tapestry as well as michael kors and it was supposed to set a stage to challenge european conglomerates like lvmh and caring now at the heart of ftc's concerns is the potential stifling of the competition the regulator is arguing that this merger is going to reduce direct competition within the accessible luxury market especially the accessible luxury handbag market which is characterized by high quality and moderately priced products which range from $100 to $1000 and such a potent consolidation could potentially lead to higher prices for consumers and less innovation in the product offerings now tapestry and capri are defending the position by highlighting the fragmented nature of the fashion industry and the intense competition within the fashion industry but the ftc kind of remains skeptical about it because the ftc is emphasizing that the impact is not only going to be on the consumer end the impact is also going to be potential repercussions on the employment conditions in an industry that employs thousands this legal battle is significant because it reflects a broader push under the biden administration guided by the ftc chair lena khan's antitrust agenda and the outcome of this case as we said before could set a precedent affecting not only the fashion industry but also the broader corporate landscape in terms of how mergers are going to be viewed through the lens of competition and consumer impact the court proceedings are advancing and the closing arguments are scheduled for the end of september and this ruling could kind of redefine the boundaries of competition and innovation within the fashion industry but there is a key question which kind of remains that will this merger pave way for a new american luxury conglomerate or will it fall under the weight of anti force anti trust enforcement so that's what we wanted to discuss with you in this video hope you've enjoyed this video stay tuned in for more thank you